believe it or not, all life on Earth requires liquid water to thrive. So when we look for other worlds that might harbor life, we're actually looking for worlds with liquid water. Now we could just tell our visitors this fact, or they can discover it for themselves. That way they're much more likely to understand and remember the concept. This activity works best with a large group so that you can pass out all these organism cards. It gets everyone up and moving around, too. Did you know that scientists are looking for possible life in the galaxy? The problem is we only have one planet where we know life exists, right here. Now, if extraterrestrials exist, they might look very different from us, and their home planets might have different environments. How do we know what to look for? Well, scientists are studying extreme environments right here on Earth to see all the amazing ways life has adapted on our planet. This broadens the kind of planets where life might exist. Let's see what they're finding. Everyone, take one of these cards. All right, when we're talking about life, we're talking about plants, animals, or even bacteria. Here, what do you have? Penguins. Oh, snotites. Great. Now, these organisms survive in places where humans would have a really hard time. We call them extremophiles because they love environments that seem extreme to us. Now, which organisms like a hot environment? Anyone who has an organism that likes it hot, come over to this side. You can start with any category. They're listed on your presenter's card. Visitors take ownership of a card and often want to talk about it. Ask one of the participants to tell about their organism. Their answer can also help you come up with the next category. Let your visitors sort themselves up to five times using criteria like cold, dry, acidic, or pressurized. Each time, ask a few visitors to tell you about their organism. It's exciting to hear about all the wild extremophiles that are found on Earth. As a presenter, you don't have to know all about them yourself. The information is right there on the cards. Now for the aha moment. Wow, there are so many variations in environments where organisms can live. How about anyone who lives without liquid water? Come over to this side. Anyone? Ah, what do you know? It turns out every single living organism we've discovered on Earth needs liquid water to survive, grow, and reproduce. So when we look for planets that might harbor life, starting with planets that have water on them seems like a pretty good bet. When we look for potentially habitable planets, we're actually looking for planets with evidence of liquid water. Do you know there's some worlds right here in our own solar system that probably have oceans of water? Of course, finding water doesn't necessarily mean there's life on those worlds, but they are interesting places to look for evidence of life. Here, take a look at this banner. 